welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new thank you so much for stopping by today's video girl is gonna be something it's gonna be something if you love all things thrifting, beauty, lifestyle, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. I love you guys so much, so thank you for the support. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my entire Doc Martens collection. Over the past couple of years, I have accumulated quite the quite the pile over over in this vicinity. Let's just cut the, the intro here and let's just get started with the video. So the first pair of Docs I ever got is a classic pair. I got them probably four years ago. Out of all of my pairs, I have 13 pairs. I've only bought three of them retail. All the rest are thrifted. These are one of the three retail pairs. These are the black vegan 1460s. Um, you can tell that they're vegan because they have the yellow tag on the back. Other than that, you can't tell visually. I have some different laces in these right now because I change my laces all the time to match my outfits. Typically these will just come with plain black laces. The one thing about the vegan leather that does differ a lot from the regular leather is that it does get a lot of creasing. It doesn't make or break the shoe for me. It still wears just the same. The nice thing about the vegan ones though is that they are really easy to break in. I ordered them online so I really just took a guess with the size. These are a US five. All my docs differ in sizes. Like for me, it just kind of depends. I would totally recommend getting these if you're looking for a first pair of docs. Let me know guys if you want to see a video all about buying your first pair of docs and how to kind of navigate it and get the right pair for you. I would love, love, love to do that for you guys. So let me know. So my second pair was from the holiday collection. I think in 2016 or 17, I cannot remember. They are these beautiful silver chrome docks. They came with, once again, black laces, but I just love, love, love how these look with the yellow laces. We're obsessed, girl. And I have worn these to death, so they do scuff a lot. I don't know if you can see this here, but I have scuffed these quite a few times, which once again, I don't mind. They age very nicely. I love these so much. Like These are one of my top most worn pair of docs and I have a lot to choose from so these ones have a special place in my heart. So my next pair is the last pair that I bought retail and then I've completely switched to buying all of them thrifted. So I only got these ones about maybe a year and a half ago. These are the Doc Martens vegan Blair sandal. One of my favorites also, of course, I can't wear these year round. These are the only pair of sandals I own, like literally no other sandals. I'm not a sandal girl. I will wear sneakers. I will wear my dog boots in the middle of the summer. I don't care. I just don't like sandals. These ones just kind of hit different. I love these and I want the lazy oaf ones that just came out this past collection. A girl does not have that resale coin. I'm telling you, I wore these every single day over the summer. It does get like a little bit of peeling at the sole. Since it's not the rubber sole, it's like a foam sole, it does kind of wear a little bit quicker. They do also get some thread that kind of comes out on the straps. I don't even know if you can see that. They're comfy. I wear them. I'm not gonna like spend this much money on a pair of shoes and just let them sit in my closet. Everyone needs a pair of Doc Martens player sandals. Before the age of the trendy Jaden, you know, everyone has Jaden Docs now. I got these shortly after I got those sandals, so a little bit before the wave hit. Cherry red ones, and they're kind of shiny. These are my first real leather ones. They are so beautiful. What I love about them is that they have a zipper, and honestly, ever since I got these Jadens, it's been really hard for me to wear my regular Docs because I just love the platform sole. You can really see the difference in the sole is insane. I just love the extra height that the Jadens give me because I am literally barely five feet tall. It helps a girl out. I am telling you, these are my most worn docs. I will pair these with anything. I don't care if they don't match. They always look good. Like they are scuffed up. I actually got these off of Depop. They were fairly new and now I have literally worn these to the ground. These will be with me until the day that I die. I will not, like you will have to pry these out of my cold dead hands. My next pair is pretty out there. I'm still not sure how I feel about these. I have not gotten the wear out of them that I wish I have. So these are also thrifted. I got these at Plato's Closet. Back when I got them, docs weren't like super trendy like they are now, like how they've gotten this past like six months. So these were so cheap, they were like 20 bucks, but now if you go to Plato's Closet and look for docs, they're like $80. It doesn't matter how bad condition they are, they're so expensive. So I'm really glad that I was able to get a lot of these pairs before the, the Doc Martens like 
2019 wave came through. They have a zipper down the side, which leads me to think that they're a kid size. They are a US 4. Usually I'll be a 4 or 5. Some shoes I'm a kid's 3 girl. Like, it just really depends. And I'm actually thinking I might just paint over the floral and do something really cool with these if I don't end up getting wear out of them. I like how they're lower at the at the ankle, but they're still eight eyelets. They're just they're cut lower. I can show my ankle tattoos with these. So very cute. Apparently I was feeling some sort of floral thing when I got those because a couple days later I also thrifted these ones. These ones are still one of my favorites and I know that like the floral thing is kind of like up and left. I like that they're the black canvas. They're not as like bold as those other floral ones. And then the floral is like very muted. And then I really like the black stitching around the boot. Now usually I'm a sucker for the yellow stitching. I think it's like a signature moment. But with these, I really love the black stitching. And then they also have ribbon laces, which I think is really cute. Just as I thought my collection was complete, I was set, it was good. The Salvation Army really had to do this one to me. This this did a number. So these I consider my working docs. I wear these to work all the time. They are so comfortable. There's dried up smoothie on there, girl. These are the patent leather ones, but they are the air cushion soles. These bad boys are worn in the house. Like this stitching used to be yellow and now it is not yellow anymore. So these ones have like this really squishy sole. A lot of docs are like very, very flat. The Jadens flat. These are like walking on a cloud when it comes to docs. I mean, how could you go wrong? So next, y'all are gonna laugh at me because they're basically the same ones that I just showed you. The black patent leather. They have this floral embossing on them and they are so pretty. It's such a subtle little detail, but it just brings together your outfit so effortlessly. Those ones are from Buffalo Exchange and I got them the same day that I found these babies. I love the 1460 ones. They're great. They're a beautiful shoe. But the thing with me is that they were just like too flat. So then I was gonna get the like platform sole, but I couldn't find them thrifted anywhere. And then I discovered the Beck sole. The Beck sole is everything. It's kind of the in-between between the regular flat classic sole and the Jaden sole. It just has that little bit of extra lift. These are the 1461 Becks and they are definitely my shoes that I wear when I was working at Lush or like when I'm doing something more professional. They're like my businessy docs. They're really hard to break in because your foot's not like moving around a lot in them but otherwise these ones definitely go into my top favorites these next ones are one of the coolest pairs of docs i've ever found and unfortunately they are too big for me i think when i tried them on the store i had really thick socks on so i thought that they fit and they were expensive too so i got these at l train vintage these are the doc martens triumph boots they're very like worn looking they're this beautiful green black gray kind of color it's so hard to describe they have 12 eyelets so they do go higher up they have like buckles these are the ones that you can fold down i just hope we are not going back to the era where that is a thing so these ones if you just wear them up they're very tight around the ankle i love to wear them with like cargo pants and they're in great condition for how old they are we're getting there y'all we're getting there the next pair are these guys so these are the 1461 vegan rose gold these ones i thrifted i actually got them for free because i did an exchange at buffalo i haven't got to wear these yet because they're very hard to style the color very very difficult they look very worn they have some like cloudiness in the paint they're just so beautiful these are the regular sole too these are truly the best docs that i have ever owned in my life i do have one issue with them which i will share with you and if you guys know a solution let your girl know these are my number one even over the jade and cherry reds i used to wear those all the time but ever since i got these that's it like these stole my heart these stole my soul these are just my soulmate truly these are the jaden xls so they're just like the jadens but they're just like like more like you know so they have the o-ring eyelets which is so beautiful i'm obsessed and the white stitching is everything these were awful to break in and i would say they're still not even broken in recently one of the 
the eyelets on one of the shoes popped out and the leather snapped and I'm so emo about it because like now I just have this ring that just kind of like hangs down so is there some type of like glue or anything that's strong enough to hold that is there like some sort of leather repairing thing like what do I do what do I do please tell me these are my most expensive docs and I do not regret it and then my newest pair which I stumbled across my last week or so of school before corona be like these were at Buffalo Exchange for so cheap. These were $20, just the white ones. And I don't plan on keeping these white. They were brand new also with the tags still on. My boyfriend said he wanted to paint on them. So I was like, sure, cause I don't love the white. He wants to paint on some docs. So I was like, I'ma cop these. A little hint at what he's gonna be painting on them. But you already know. You already know. All right guys, so that concludes my entire Doc Martens collection. As of right now, I'm sure there will be an updated one sometime in the future but as for right now I'm really happy with my collection and I think I'm gonna be downsizing a little tiny bit but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video so much so that you give it a big thumbs up if you liked it or dislike if you disliked it because engagement is engagement am I right thank you guys so much for watching and so much for supporting I hope you guys are staying safe happy and healthy out there I know times are tough right now please reach out through the dms if y'all just want to chat if y'all just need some support i'm here for you i love you you guys are here for me and i'm also here for you thank you for watching this video if you made it this far it means so much to me i will see you guys super soon in my next video and i love you all so much see you next time guys bye one two three fuck it